friends uh, welcome to the python programming series uh, in the last lecture we have discussed everything about uh, python uh, tuple and uh, in this lecture we are going to learn about the python dictionaries so uh, python dictionaries uh, let's say uh, python dictionaries are used to store the data values and uh, in the form of key and value pair so uh, uh, it is also a collection which is ordered changeable and does not allow the duplicate values uh, other collection we already have uh, discussed about uh, discussed in the previous lecture that is list tuple set so here the major difference is does not allow duplicates and uh, dictionaries are unordered and it does not allow uh, us and uh, it does not allow duplicates and the thing is that in python 3.6 uh, the earlier version it was uh, unordered but now in python 7 uh, version the, uh, the dictionary is ordered so uh, okay so the way of writing this dictionary is uh, by using the curly braces so uh, we, if you want to create uh, your dictionary you have to use this curly braces and uh, uh, define the key and value pair so let's say my key is name and my uh, value is nilu and don't, don't forget to use this comma separator because it's use comma separate uh, and if you want to print this so you can just write uh, this variable name dictionary name and uh, this uh, this will print your dictionary with key and value pairs uh, right so uh, dictionary items are as i have said that uh, dictionary items are ordered it is changeable and it does not allow duplicate so and uh, uh, it uh, and uh, uh, dictionary item are presented in the form of key and value pair so it can be referred by the uh, using the key name so uh, for example if you want uh, if you want to find the value of this uh, thing uh, if you want to print the value of uh, a name so you have to use this uh, key values so uh, for example let's say next uh, cell I'm doing this and uh, uh, so here uh, I want if I want to print the value of a name, so I have to uh, access through the name variable, and that is our key key value key values, right? So if I write this, so it will give the value of a name by using the key is nilu. Um, so uh, the one thing that uh, in python 3.6 it means in earlier version it is uh, dictionaries are unordered but now in python 7 3.7 and the higher version it is uh, ordered so uh, unordered means that uh, the item does not have a defined order so you can refer to an item by using an index right so uh, it, it it is uh, the next thing is that it does not allow duplicates uh, for example if you write if you for example uh, ha, as you seen in the uh, general dictionary so you don't have a two keys you have a single key so in the similar way if you uh, write a here for example you write a is equals to uh, again a is equals to 25 so uh, 25 then it it will not allowed so see this is giving the error so now uh, for this for this we have to use the uh, unique values and uh, uh, next uh, next thing is like uh, uh, is data type so is data type uh, can be find by using the type uh, type constructor uh, here in as uh, in list tuple and uh, in set um, there was a type so by using uh, the same thing in uh, here we can also get the type uh, let's say if you want the type then 
let me do this uh, okay so for type you just need to write uh, the uh, type of this okay so just write type method and uh, just print it so see this this uh, type is showing that the uh, data type of this is dictionary type and uh, uh, now uh, if you want to access this uh, dictionary items so what you have to do you have to just uh, you just need to uh, write the key key names for example uh, we have done in this previous cell so um, the another way of uh, accessing this is uh, another way of accessing this is like you can also uh, take this things in uh, okay let me um let me just uh, copy this and uh, yeah so um okay so if uh, another way of uh, you can also just uh, use another variable variable for this and uh, you can print in my dict that is my dictionary and uh, uh, once you will uh, put this in my dictionary and you can and uh, you can use this key uh, key and uh, you can print this thing so uh, this is also a way of um, accessing your value of a particular key uh, if you want to just uh, want to know how much keys you, you have what what keys you have in your dictionary so you can just uh, copy uh, you can just write the uh, uh, function you can write just uh, you can write the method called uh, uh, this dictionary dot uh, keys so my dictionary name is uh, my dictionary name is my dict so my dict dot keys and uh, my dict dot keys and you're gonna also store it in okay so you can also store it in uh, another variable if you want and then you can print otherwise you can also directly uh, write it here so all keys available in the dictionary is uh, name is an address fine so uh, this is a one way of doing this and if you want to add a new item to this dictionary that that dictionary is my already available dictionary so if i want to add a new uh, item to it and then i have to uh, just give the uh, give the key and give the values so for example let me use another cell for this okay so i would like to add a um, uh, I would like to add a uh, my dict because I want to uh, add in my dictionary. So my dict and uh, wanna add a new uh, param uh, new keys that is salary and uh, wanna add its value. So salary is like twenty. so I think I <laughs> so uh, if uh, I'm to print this uh, now if you want to print this on my dictionary so you can say you can say a uh, new key and value pair has been added to this dic already uh, presented dictionary so this is about the uh, adding a new key value pair to your dic uh, dictionary the next thing is uh, you can uh, use a method called values method it will return a, return a list of all the values in the dictionary 
for ex uh, for example uh, you have used this uh, keys method to get all the keys if you want uh, the method for values you can also uh, let's say y is equal to i am i have a value that is called y my dictionary dot values so just have to write this and uh, once i write this and i will print this print y so uh, uh it will give the values so there is two the uh, keys and the values and uh, another thing is like uh, if you if i want to make the changes in this dictionary so i have uh, my salary is 70k but i want to change this uh, salary name so you can just uh, you can just uh, uh, right uh, you can just add this thing here because you have added uh, this okay uh, just leave this thing so Mm. I am changing the age, right? So, uh, um, you, there you have to write uh, the keys with which key you want to change and the values to what value you want to change. So, I would, uh, would like to change it with the 26. So, then, then it will uh, change. So, my key is now, age key is changed with the uh, 26 so this is a value uh, things that how you can add uh, how you can update your things um now uh, new if you want uh, okay so th this is about the changing of your dictionary but what uh, what if if you want to add a new item to it so um, if you want to add a new item to it so you can just uh, just uh, write this thing uh, i think i have al i already have given that example add a new list um let me show you again i think i have, have covered uh yes this this is um, yeah this is the way of adding a new item to it so um, this is about adding a new item to it and uh, now if uh, you want to change uh, your item changing your item means so uh, you are uh, we want to change your item by referring to its key name so that is also i have we have discussed like uh, like uh, this salary um, this age we have changed so this is about the changing values and um, if you want to update your dictionary so there is a method called update method so one more method is uh, called update method let me use new cell so this update method uh, what it it will do it will uh, write my dictionary dot update and uh, then i will use uh, what key value pair i want to update to it so uh, let's say i would like to update this age uh, with uh, with what uh, i would like to update this uh, age with uh, 25 uh, let's say 25 there was also a way of update uh, adding or updating but this is the another way of uh, changing in your dictionary so now you can see then now you can see that in the uh, dictionary is now been updated so uh, now uh, the next thing if you want uh, to like uh, what else is remaining if you want to add item add item already have been add update we have covered uh, yeah so one more method is called uh, remove item if we want to remove our items then what we can do so for removing the item we can use a pop method that is one of the famous method because it is ordered 
so um, pop method will re remove the um, the last value right because pop method and stack we also used post and pop uh, to do the same task um, then here uh, what i will do i will just uh, say dix my dictionary dot pop and will print the result so um, my dictionary dot pop uh, i have used but i haven't given the yeah so i have uh, wait it is a simple thing uh, we made a minor mistake yes so uh we have given that uh, my dictionary dot pop but we don't have given that what uh, value on our pop so um, let's say i want to pop this is then it will work right so this is our uh, right way of doing this and uh, if i if we want uh like uh, uh this method uh in pop method you have to uh, give the uh, what uh, keys value pair you want to pop but there is another method called uh, pop item so that pop item method can remove the top values uh, pop item for this method you don't need to give the uh, values so yeah so this are uh, automatically uh, pop the uh, last values so this is uh, about the pop and uh, there is another method called delete so if you this is uh, our dictionary and uh, if you want to delete something so then uh, we can write uh, directly we can write it as a uh, uh, delete function and uh, then my dictionary name and then we have to use the big bracket uh, okay so this will say that uh, you is is deleted so see so from here the a is is being deleted and uh, then uh, after deletion you you also have another method called uh, clear so let me use this clear method clear so clear method will clear the whole list so here you don't need to give your parameter it will just clear everything so this is about the removing uh, of item from your dictionary and now let's say uh, you, uh, some uh, loop things in dictionary for example you know, you wanna let's say uh, you wanna use uh, some loop in your dictionary for example you wanna access this uh, dictionary by using the loop so uh, you can uh, write for x in your dictionary name my dix this is my dictionary name and uh, after that i am printing Uh, sorry uh, after that i am printing this my dictionary and not my dictionary uh, we are printing the item so um, my dictionary uh, yes so we are printing the item one by one so this is called looping in uh, dictionary so it will give uh, give the keys uh, one by one it will give the keys and you know how to work with loops and uh, if uh, we want to print all values in the dictionary one by one uh, because this is about uh, printing the keys one by one but if you want to print the uh, values in dictionary so uh, there is a way of printing the values a dictionary by using this uh, by using this uh, name of it so uh, like uh, uh, let's say my dictionary and then you have to 
use this bracket and then this will return the uh, values of it so let's uh, see uh, this is giving the name is and my address uh, so uh, it's about uh, it's about python uh, we are working with uh, dictionaries and the uh, so i think it is, it is enough for this lecture it's uh, this lecture is already been for 20 uh, to 21 minute and uh, in the next lecture we will cover the remaining topics called uh, copying the dictionary some nesting of uh, dictionaries and uh, some dictionaries methods we have so that we will cover in the next videos till then uh, thank you thank you for listening me and please hit the bell icon to get the latest notification for my videos and please subscribe to my channel.